Uh, users are reporting that the emails from legitimate sender are going directly into the junk folder and you wanted to bypass the, that external email through the spam fo filter. In this video I'll show you how you can do that. So we will log into our tenant here, the admin privilege, exchange admin or global admin, any of those would work broadly speaking. You can see I'm logged into my lab account here and then we'll, we'll go to the exchange by clicking on the exchange option here. It's going to open the exchange admin center in the news tab. We will expand the mail flow option here. Click on rules. Click on add a rule. Click on create a new rule. We'll call it something friendly so the next technician or next time you're viewing the rules you can identify it. So we'll just call it bypass spam filter for no reply at gmail.com so I'm just just making this email up uh, in, in, instead of this email you will put in e the actual email the actual sender whose emails are going into the spam folder all right let's click on the sender here because we are specifying an email uh, if you want a green you know green list or bypass the entire domain you can click on domain is and just specify the domain here but we will choose the is this person for for this video uh let's just specify the email so again the made up email uh, i will enter that here again you need to enter the actual email that you're trying to bypass um, let's hit save and then we'll click on so usually there would be an option to just select bypass spam filter but it's no longer there so instead what we'll have to do is we'll click on modify the message property and then we'll click on set the spam confidence and then there is the option to bypass spam filter and we'll just hit save and that sets the SCL to minus one and uh, yeah just hit next now one thing I wanted to show you, if you have multiple email addresses and you are trying to bypass them through the spam rule, you can just click on this pencil here and just, just add there. So let's assume another email, no, uh, or yes reply at gmail.com and just hit save and just hit click on next here enforce yes yes let's hit next to do a quick review and we'll click on finish here uh, again one key important thing after doing this so this alone will not activate the rule uh, it's as you can see the status is disabled so we want to click on this and just switch this to enable and now it's gonna be applied to the organization so then the rule is live now um, and yeah that's how you add a exchange rule